Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different from my usual videos, but um, today I'm going to be attending, uh, or this whole weekend, I'm going to be attending a codathon, the Via Codathon. Um, you guys don't know what a codathon or hackathon is? Uh, I'll explain in a little bit. In this video, I'm going to show you what the experience is like to go to a codathon, and you know, if you guys are into coding or any of like web development and all that stuff, um, if you ever were interested in it and wanted to see what it was like, then. Um, yeah, this is the video for you guys, so let's uh, right, get right into it. But before we do that, uh, I just have to say that this might not be like a vlog type. This might be a lot of voiceover and me talking about what's going on because I might not be able to show the code that we're writing. But uh, yeah, that's just a little heads up. A lot of it might not be a vlog, but uh, yeah, so just to let you guys know. Yeah, right now I'm just waiting for my other teammates. It was, It's being held here at Trinity University. I first got here and I had no idea where I was and I got lost for a little bit. Not only that, my GPS is going whack. So it's, it was a hard time just looking for this place. So not all, all codathons are the same. This one I'm attending right now is going to be over this, the course of this weekend. So today, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we're not going to be sleeping over like I did in my previous codathon I went to last year. That day, that one, we slept over and I stayed up to like four o'clock coding. But today's one is uh, over the weekend and around 10, 10 p.m. today, we can go home and then we'll come back in the morning. A little run through what's gonna happen today. The event starts at like two o'clock from three to six. They have uh, the data support people. They feed us dinner from 5.30 to seven and then they close the building f at 10. So that's what's for today and then pretty much tomorrow is gonna be the same thing and then Sunday is when they're gonna do the judging and all that other stuff and what's cool is that they do uh, little raffles here and there you know you could win like $25 gift cards to like Best Buy or whoever they whoever sponsored um, this year's uh, Codathon it's gonna be pretty exciting Alice Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. everyone we're seeing you. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. So I'm all checked in, and I got this little badge, uh, this little bag and this badge, and there's some people who recognized me from last year, so that's pretty cool. So this is the outside. Pretty cool. The Trinity University. Nice little study areas and everything. We're out here just to uh, share about USAlabs.com. It's USAA's member innovation site. Pay dollar gift card to Alan Drakow. All you have to do is fill out the top part of this. All right, so we just got finished with the debriefing and all that. Basically telling us what we're gonna do, what's gonna happen and all that. But uh, it took so long. I just wanted to get coding. But um, right now we're heading, we're actually get, gonna code here at the university. We're gonna go down and code at uh, Roberto's house. One of the people on our team. Yeah, we're gonna go code at his house because I feel like it's just, it's gonna be better conditions. We don't have to share the Wi-Fi with anybody and we'll get our own personal space. So yeah, we're gonna be heading there right now and hopefully I don't get lost like I was earlier. And it's, it's jizzling, so it's nice. So I'm not sure if I mentioned yet what a codathon is and if I did, then this is the second time. But basically codathon is basically uh, an event that's held by a company, This, in this case VIA. So VIA is a bus transit service here in San Antonio and they're the biggest uh, bus transit here. They basically present a bunch of challenges they're having in the company involving code and all the other things. They basically hold this event so that coders can, you know, help them solve the problems that they are having in the company. And uh, yeah, so this is, that's basically where the Colathon is. You know, a lot of different uh, companies have these things, but this is just one of them. This is uh, Via's hosting this one. Other companies could hold Colathons and Hackathons and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so that's where the Colathon is, and uh, this is my second year participating. Let's take a look at all the little freebies they gave us. What kind of 
heck back there going? Anyway, so I got this cool t-shirt. What's it say? Code for Transit Solutions. They also put a bunch of snacks, so got Cheetos, Doritos, just a bunch, whole bunch of snacks. Dude, it's really big, so let me read this. We have this, this USB drive, pretty cool. A Via Fidget Spinner, the Via Fidget Spinner. Uh, some more snacks, a USAA Fidget Spinner. More snacks, uh, some awesome sunglasses, earbuds. So I'm guessing this is another USB thingy bus keychain. So adorable, look at that. Wow, wow. Pen. That's about it. That's everything in this bag. It's pretty cool. Now I'm headed to uh, Roberto's house. We're gonna code there. We're gonna be heading there right now. And yeah, we're gonna get to coding. So I just got here to the house now. Um, I'm just waiting for um, them to get here, I'm assuming, because my other classmate is waiting out there too. It was a long drive. It was like 40 minutes, and there was like a rack and everything. So it was pretty, it took, it took a while, but uh, yeah. I can't wait to get into the coding. So let's go. So basically what's going on here is that we are setting up our environments. We use Visual Studio 2017 for the project we made. Here we're doing a little planning so that everything could go smoothly, or so we thought. So this is what the majority of coding looks like. A bunch of people sitting down on their laptops pretending to look Disney. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, but this is us actually working. Alright, so we're starting to work on the projects right now and running into a little bit of issues with Git and GitHub and pushing changes and comparing changes and all that stuff, but uh, we're doing pretty good. Besides that little minor setback, but uh, they're cooking downstairs, so I'm gonna go eat. All right, so it's about 1.30 right now. I'm on my way to drive back home. The whole time we were coding, we're just running into issue after issue after issue. Like things were, weren't merging, like it was, it was really bad. Right before we left, we were finally able to fix the problem. And basically we just wasted all that time. It wasn't wasted time, but at least we got it working now and now we can finally start coding. Yeah, it was, it was getting a lot of us really frustrated. Uh, you know, cussing out the computer and you know, made me want to like break my computer. But you know, sometimes you just gotta step away from it for a little while and then you know, come back with a fresh mind. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, sleep for a couple hours and we're gonna meet back here um, 9 o'clock in the morning. So that's what happened and that's it's all part of the codathon thing. You're put under a time limit and just really pushes you to your limits and gets the best out of you. Yeah, so I'm on my way home. That's about a 38 minute drive. We'll get there at 2 a.m. I'll be driving home now. See you guys tomorrow. Alright, so good morning. This is day two of the Codathon. Um, I just got to the house where we're working on all the stuff and it seems like they're still here. Let's get coding today. Hopefully there's no problems or any um, roadblocks for today for the code. Yeah, so let's get to coding. So this is the next day of the Codathon. There's nothing too interesting that happens besides coding, uselessly yelling at the computer, and snacking on M&Ms. All right, so this is day two, and basically we've been coding the entire day. I pretty much just took a break to uh, just to uh, you know get away from the code because I've been sitting down for pretty much the whole day from nine o'clock when I got here all the way till now, and it's what time is it? Seven thirty. So <laughs> yeah, we just been um running into a lot of problems like, um yeah that's just that's just how it is at a codathon you're just pretty much coding and coding and coding until your brain gets fried you know <laughs> what's really cool about this is that you know you just you know it pushes you to your limit and kind of exposes what your weaknesses are because 
just uh just from doing all this my weaknesses are like jquery ajax json i don't have much experience using those things yet but you know after this hopefully i can study those more and get good at it i don't know how much longer we're gonna be coding tonight because our presentation is at 10 a.m or 10 30 10 or 10 30 but yeah we almost have the app done and we just have to finish up some logic things just, we just had a lot of problems today and uh, but yeah so this is day two um i'll check in with you guys for more updates of course us coders are human too so we gotta eat but where's the best place for coders to eat after a full day of coding It's about 1.30 right now, using a forum to pass data onto the models and everything, but yeah. We got a lot done today, we had to, there's a lot of issues again um, today, but that's just, just how it goes in coding and everything. I spent the whole day trying to figure out this one problem, and then later on, um, my teacher, he came and then he was working on his project and we asked for some help, he fixed it within 10 minutes. No biggie. I was over there sitting down searching up on Google for like two, three hours trying to find a solution and then he came in and fixed it in 10 minutes. But I guess you can just see like he has, you know, tons more experience, you know, experimenting, breaking things, seeing how they work. You can just really see like all their expertise, all my, my classmates and my teammates like and teachers, you know, you can see how they're really good at what they do, you know, and I hope to come to that level one day where you can just be like oh read an error boom know what to fix or know uh, a way to troubleshoot it to make it work yeah hopefully they can get it done or hopefully they can fi figure it out I'm super tired um, yeah so I'm gonna be driving home tomorrow is the judging and hopefully that goes well see you guys tomorrow Alright guys, so today is the last day of the Colathon. So today is going to be the judging and the presentation. So my team's presentation is going to be at 1040. And then my teacher's team is going to be going at 12. So right now, I just got here. But today is going to be a judging to see if we place at least top 8. At least top 8. And hopefully, top 4. Because there's 23 teams. They choose top 8 first and then they're going to go top four and then first second fourth first second third place so hopefully we get fourth place or L place in general like it'd be nice to get first or second and yeah anyway so i'm gonna head inside right now and yeah see you guys in a little bit i'm like i'm kind of nervous for this <laughs> nervous for the presentation and what the judges are gonna think and whenever i get nervous like my tongue starts getting itchy or like irritated so like my tongue feels really weird right now but yeah i don't know if that's just me or that happens to everybody but yeah <laughs> let me know if your tongue gets itchy whenever you get nervous i got that free from up there but... Hey, give me a drink too. Long story short, the team that my teachers were on got the top eight, but not the top four, and my team didn't even place on top eight. But it's okay, you know. It's it's totally fine, you know. No biggie. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm in the car where it's less awkward to be talking to a camera. But yeah, it was a, it was a great experience, even though 
my team didn't place in the top eight or you know get any fancy prizes like fancy gift cards I feel like it was just a if anything we got from this weekend was a lot of experience and I kind of like an eye-opener to our own experience as a coder like uh, it was a really eye-opening that you know there's a lot of things about code I still didn't know how to do you know there's a lot of jQuery stuff Ajax JSON calls uh, github pushing and pulling and fetching and all that stuff that I just that I still don't you know how to do and a lot of what the challenge called for is to know that stuff so if anything you know I got a list of things I have to work on and you know just experience coding and being in a competitive environment where you're forced to learn new stuff and forced to figure out problems so uh, I think that's what I got out of this problem even though we didn't win anything new or uh, win anything any fancy prizes you know I'm just uh, grateful for the experience and you know the overall fun time just coding you know this is kind of what it's like to go to a colathon I don't know if I I don't know how this video is gonna come out actually but hopefully this gave you a good idea of what a codathon is like um, you know they're all different but this is the one that I went to and this is just a, a snapshot of what it could be like if you ever joined one. If you want some really good experience, a way to push yourself to do better, then you should definitely join a codathon because it really helped me to really, it really pushed me and gave me a good experience just going to this. Thank you to all who are watching and just leave a comment below if you ever went to a codathon, your experience or you know things that you might have learned from your own codathon experience. Leave it down in the comments and I hopefully get back to you and I'll read them. And also leave a comment below if you're a coder and what language you code in. I use um, C Sharp, MVC, ASP.NET. I think I should end the video now. I'm talking too much. Thank you guys for watching this video. I don't know how to end this. Bye. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs>